What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. In today's video, we are testing out the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I know this came out quite some time ago. I just couldn't get my hands on it. Finally, I got my hands on it. Late or not, we are reviewing this foundation today. I think the packaging is super cute. You know, it's a uh, Huda Beauty's type packaging, black, pink. Since I am a huge online shopper and I don't stray away from ordering foundations online because I can't physically try to match myself with the foundation, I just try to do my best and order it and just hope for the best. So as I was trying to figure out what shade would be for me, I couldn't really figure that out on Sephora looking on their website. So I actually went on to Huda Beauty's website and what I thought was really cool they had like a comparison chart for this foundation and co they compared like each shade to other super popular or requested foundations. So you could try to make sure like if you are shopping online that you do get the right shade. And one of the comparisons that they had was for Fenty Beauty. So they had this shade Tres Leches compared to Fenty Beauty's shade 290 and that's the one that I use. So I was pretty much sold after I saw that. So that's why I got that shade and using it today, it's definitely the right shade for me. So I'm very thankful that Huda Beauty kind of went above and beyond in that aspect. So you could really make sure you try to get the right shade, especially if you're ordering online. So thank you Huda for doing that. Another thing that I really appreciated about being on Huda Beauty's website was that they had a, a section where you could figure out what your undertone is and I kind of already knew mine which is like an olive undertone but I read the entire thing and I just thought it was super informative and I hadn't seen anybody's website do that type of thing to really just help you figure out what your undertones are what they actually mean how to figure out what foundation to get so I just thought that was super cool it makes me like Huda Beauty and the brand so much more than I already did do you have Sephora Sephora's app open and I'm just gonna let you know what this foundation is supposed to do and what it claims to do but it is a full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter like finish I think that after using this foundation I think it's true to what the description is I think it gives you somewhat of a filter over your face but then it still just looks kind of like your skin. The Faux Filter Foundation visibly smooths an even skin texture, diminishing the appearance of blemishes, scars, hyperpigmentation, and redness to create a flawless airbrush finish. I agree with all those things. The foundation retails for $40, and I think that's a normal price for a luxury brand, so I'm not mad at that price whatsoever, and I do think that you get what you pay for when it comes to this foundation. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that you guys need to know about the foundation. If I miss something, please comment down below and let me know. With all that said, let's zoom in a little bit and get this process started of trying on this foundation. If you want to see how it worked out for me, how it applies, make sure you keep on watching. So my first impression is I thought it was going to feel a lot heavier than what it actually is. It's actually pretty light. Still love the packaging. I love the ombre effect. Yeah, it's just not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. We got to get some pumps going. Okay. I got my wet beauty blender ready to go. Now we're just going to dip into some product and get this on my face. I can tell immediately it has great coverage. There's a little bit of a scent. I'm trying to figure out what the scent is. I can't pinpoint it right now. It's not that I don't like it. I just can't figure out what it smells like. Like maybe citrusy, floral. Okay, well, for some reason today, my face is like really tripping. I don't know what is going on right here, but there's something happening. Let's talk about this foundation. Oh, it's like great coverage. I don't see anything creasing yet. Dabbing a little bit more in my smile line area. Area. <laughs> but yeah, so far it's looking really good. So here is this side with the foundation on. 
And then here is this side with no foundation on. It's definitely covering what it needs to cover for sure. Let's finish the face. See that immediate coverage just took away all the discoloration in my face right now. It's even covering up this blemish pretty good. I can't believe how much this is covering and it's actually looking really good. The way that I like to set my foundation is I just use a setting spray. We'll be using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So once I have covered my whole face with foundation, I just spray this on, let it sit for a second, and then dab it into my skin with my Beauty Blender. Once it's dried just a little bit, now I just go and dab it into my skin. This foundation looks really good. I think I have some crazy stuff happening on my face like in this area right here. It might be settling just a little bit, but I think my face is just tripping on this side today for some reason. But other than that, it looks like there's a filter on my face. It's definitely doing what the name says it's supposed to do. Now let's mix it with some concealer so we can see how it mixes with that. I'm gonna go to my tried and true shape tape because I know what shape tape is supposed to look like, what it's supposed to do, and that's how I'm gonna tell how this foundation is going to work with the concealer. I use a different beauty blender for my concealer, so let's blend it out. Once I've blended out the concealer, I go back in with my foundation blender, diffuse any harsh lines. So far, everything is looking really good. Now we are going to set my concealer, doing what I do every single day, Laura Mercier. This is my e.l.f. highlighting brush that I like to use to set my under eyes. The concealer blends out very well with the foundation, so we're looking up and up with this foundation for sure already. I am going to finish my face real quick, and I'll be back. All right, we are back. We have our full face on, and I gotta tell you, I am loving this foundation. After putting my bronzer, blush, highlight, everything on, like it's still looking really good. There might be a little bit of setting in my fine lines on my forehead. I kinda have that problem with every foundation because my lines are just really bad on my forehead, and I probably need to get some Botox, but... <laughs> Whatever. I'm living for the foundation. It is staying in place. It is set. There, I don't really see any type of creasing going on. I'm not mad at this foundation whatsoever. I am kind of living for it. I can't wait to use it more often. I'm glad that the shade worked out for me. And I am living for it. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of the Jouer foundation, just how it's kind of setting in my smile lines and the lines on my forehead. But other than that, like I'm really, really liking how it's looking and the full look all together. It definitely looks like there's somewhat of a filter on my face. Now let me go take some pictures and see if that's really going to show up. Overall, I am very satisfied with my purchase. I'm excited to wear this foundation a lot more for those super full coverage days where I need it. Probably not gonna be a summertime foundation for me, but when I need full coverage and I need my makeup to stay all day long, I definitely will be picking up this foundation and using it, especially for those days. Even for my work days where I, I need my makeup just to stay and nothing happened to it for at least nine to 10, 11 hours sometimes, I think it's gonna be great for those days too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation review and try on, Make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!